All right, we're gonna mash in on Sam with Enigma, as close as we have to a house beer. Yep. Let's do it. Do it. Not too thick, not too thin, just what we expect from an award game. Yeah. All right, we've hit our 60 minute mash. We're now gonna ramp up to mash out. Hit it to 170. And usually what we do is we like to go to 170 for 10 minutes. Just kind of helps clean up any sugars that are in there, helps efficiency, give a tiny bit of a bump and uh, gets us to boiling a little bit quicker. All right, we've completed a 60 minute mash and a 10 minute mash out at 170 on the Hefe, the orange, what's gonna be an orange Hefe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the malt pipe, I'm gonna turn this up to boiling temp to get it ready to go. We're gonna pull the malt pipe and then we're gonna take a gravity reading with our new Brewing America MASH hydrometer that's calibrated at 160. Brewing America, an official sponsor of the BrewTubers Online Brewers Club. All right, everybody knows the bane of my existence when it comes to the Robo Brew is pulling up the malt pipe. Your boy, not great. This isn't a good situation, but it's only eight pounds of grain. Hopefully I don't scorch my hairy knuckles. We're in, we're in. Listen to, listen to that flow. All right, we're filtering out now. We're at about 174. We're gonna get a first runnings reading. This Brewing America hydrometer is just class. I absolutely love it. The glass uh, reading tube that it's in just makes it so easy to read. A little hot, but here we go. Oh, <laughs> Citra. Eat it. I mean, how awesome is this? The glass tube that it's in, the collection container, it's so easy to read. We're sitting at about 062063 for our first runnings. Once we fully sparge, get done with that process, I'll take another reading, but God, this thing is so awesome. All right, time for us to sparge. What we like to do is with the mash and boil, we heat our sparge water for both beers on the double brew day. I'm gonna fill this up 16 ounces. Some nice dis hot distilled water at about, uh, it's right now it's about 150. We like to get it at 170, but uh, 150 is close enough for us. So how about we do a little walk and talk? So what we really like to do is adequately sparge. When we first started home brewing, we were batch sparging. 
But now we try to do as close to a fly sparge as we possibly can. And that is just holding the spoon over the mash tun and spreading the water out as best we can. And you know what? A little extra walk for us isn't a bad thing. We'll do it as many times as we need to. Gives us a little bit of a workout. And what home brewer doesn't need a workout? What home brewer couldn't use a couple of steps around the old block? Lose a little bit of uh, some LBs, if you will. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sparge on this beer and uh, we're off and running. Okay, we just finished our 10 minute ramp up to mash out on the uh, New England IPA, the Sam. So we're gonna pull up this malt pipe and start sparging. Stick around. These muscles. Here it goes. All right, take two. Took a two-man operation. We have, we never got that, we still have that little like thing that sticks in there. The ring. The ring, it's a pain in the butt. Um, but we got it up and we're starting to see some drainage. Brandon, AKA Gummy Arms. Okay, we are about 10 minutes into the boil on the orange Hefeweizen, a variant of Selling Out, which is our blueberry Hefeweizen. Same grist, switched up the yeast a little bit to see what character we'd get, but it's the same grist, same water chemistry, same hops. The boil here on the Robo Brew is looking a little dull, more so than it usually does, which is interesting. It could just be because we're on 240. It might just be that it's, uh, in comparison, when you look at them both, it just, uh, it's, there's just a big difference. More so than if you were just using the Robo Brew. All right, we just added our 60 minute edition. We bumped up the Z CTZ a little bit because of the alpha acid difference in the uh, different crop year. But uh, we took a sample for pre-boil and uh, this 60 minute boil has started. Brand down. Yeah, let's do this. Double brew day coming at ya. Drop it sometime in the future times. So this is just to show you the difference in boils from a 240 to a 120. And wow, the difference is pretty telling. Again, usually the Robo Brew is a lot stronger on the boil. This is Sam with Enigma in the Anvil Foundry at 240. In comparison, it's just worlds different. The Orange Hefe in the Robo Brew. And just something to think about if you're interested in becoming an all-in-one brewer or you have one already and you're considering the move up to 240. Our numbers, our efficiencies have climbed since we started on 240. The boil vigor is much better. We, we go through, we hit, we're closer to hitting our numbers. It's just a better feeling to see a nice, vigorous boil. All right, 15 minutes left in the boil. We're going in with Centennial. Centennial is going to give it a nice little bitterness, but for the most part, it's used as an aroma hop. We're just hanging out. We got Bub does beer things. No, no, he doesn't want me again. <laughs> <laughs> I might keep that. We got Bub does beer things in the background. I asked him if he wanted to be on camera. He said, go get your shine box. He's not interested. The camera's right there. I was looking right there. And we're just rolling around. We're just rolling along, baby, on this Hefe day and this double brew day. All right. Let's get it. All right, flame out is here. That light is blinding my retinas. 
We're gonna add, I think it's a half ounce of Huel Melon. And we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna let this bad boy cool. We're gonna transfer it to the Kegaruni. And then we're gonna ferment. All right guys, we have about five minutes left in the boil. I'm adding one and a half ounces of Citra. Going in now. Oh, sorry, you can't swear. Nick doesn't want me to swear. No swearing. No swearing on YouTube. This is a family friendly show. We get demonetized. We don't make any money, but we get demonetized. Yeah, I've said that. <laughs>